What's that D stand for? Um... Ah, Mega Man Extreme 2. This takes me back to 2001, where I feel old as hell. Hey everyone, I'm Master D Class Hero, and this is my Let's Play of obviously Extreme 2. So, I was never a big fan of Iris. She just seemed like a really weird character to me. Um, I have no idea why they made her the love interest of uh, Zero. In like X4, just seemed really weird. And we're fast forwarding through this because time is a factor. No one cares, Iris. Go away. Ah, here we go. Classic enemies, classic robots. I love it. And that thing's dead. And there's Zero, the cooler guy. Still love the fact that he was supposed to be the new main character of the X series. With his beautiful, long, blonde hair. Excuse me, wait, let's get back to the topic at hand. Stupid claw machines. Come on. I'm not dealing with these guys today. Except that one. That one actually hit me. I forgot how weird the hitboxes for these things were. This is back on the old Game Boy. Game Boy Vance. I forget. Right, right now I'm just kind of playing on the, uh, our, my hacks nest, so. Yes. Still one of my favorite boss enemies because it just looks so cool. This guy is so easy. I think that's every first boss, so. And it's dead. So, honestly, if this was card dreamer playing, he probably would have died like four times. Because he can't get used to these old controls. So, we have Mega Man 11 coming out, which is going to be really nice. And quite frankly, I want to know what, um,. What the story behind that game is going to be like. Because there are so many times where Wily should have died or everything should have been brought to a close with just Rockman. We never quite got it. I mean, we know how, like, X comes about. We know how Zero comes about. But we never really get, like, that storyline of kind of the end of Rockman and turn him into X or at least his programming converted into X. One of these days, it'd be really nice to see that kind of uh, storyline play out. And get another damn X game, please. Exposition. Exposition. More exposition. Something about DNA, resurrecting. Exposition. And exposition. You gotta get it to old Capcom. They were really uh, thorough when it came to the story for the X Games. Kind of laid everything out for you that we didn't have to really play too much into it or read it too much into it when, um. Yes, you got to the main game. It's 
fight this guy. It's been a while. I miss this. I really do. And I died because I completely missed that jump. I mean, if it was Car Dreamer, probably would have done it like four times. Number four is very important to us. And then we had these uh, stupid seahorse things, which were really annoying. Yeah, I always had a hard time with these guys. Okay, checkpoint. Hate those things. Oh right, these uh these whirlwind things. Or whirlpool things. Miss. Nothing up there, so it doesn't matter. Die. There we go. Ah. Oh. I forget there's an item I need for that. Or maybe it's that, uh, quad jump thing? Nope. Moving on. Probably gonna die, but we'll see what happens. There's a way to jump on this thing. Come on. Nope. There we go. And boss fight. Oh, yeah, this guy. He was annoying. Come on, Gyarados, let's do this. Look, it's the red Gyarados. We all remember him from Johto. He was a dick then, he's a dick now. Like, arguably one of the easiest mini bosses because you just kind of chilled on one side of the map. So one thing I do want everyone to appreciate is the fact that like the sprites for these old games are still really nice. Give me stuff. Nice. And then we have this old like little pixelated Doctor Light. Still looks, still holds up today, if you ask me. Him and his magnificent beard. I am jealous because I cannot grow such a beard. I think there was actually a way to uh, avoid that boss.
I know I can make it across. Ha <laughs> ha! Completely screw that up. Okay. That was uh, easier than I thought. Just how long I how long ago I since I played this game, honestly. Is it Gyarados again? Yeah, it is. My only uh, my only problem is I don't have a Pokeball to catch him. Where are you, Gyarados? And he's dead. Look at that big old smile on his face. He's happy to be dead. So my question is, who's the real villain here? Me or a car dreamer? Because I'm being kind of a dick towards Gyarados. Here we go. Yeah, you dash in this game. Yep, died. There we go. I got it. <sighs> There's a happy, uh, happy old octopus. And I still screw it up. Old D class effort. Come on. That's right. You're gonna die, buddy. You're gonna die. Or I might. Oh, nope, I win. Literally by a hair. There are some old fashioned Mega Man fans out there who are cringing at this right now. The M Tornado. Darn right, I'm gonna save. Yes. There we go. He did. Oh yeah, I forgot we can actually buy uh, the old upgrades. Uh, let's see. It's power. Now, if I remember correctly, Tornado beat this guy. Stupid, weird catfish thing. So, my question is, why why design all these robots based off animals? Like, it seems like a really bad character design. These bats are a plague even nowadays. Nope. I'm out. Yep. 
Beware of spikes, people. Spikes are bad. Mega Man's hot as well. And beware of crabs. You should probably get yourself checked out first. If you ever find out you have some. See, this is why I hate those bats. They always get in like the weirdest corners. There we go. Wait. I think there's something up there. I'm trying to remember where all the hidden weapon parts are. Yep. I was right. The leg upgrade. This was the most helpful item that you could get in this game, was the leg upgrade. Because aerial dash. You little jerk. Well, I'm not down there. And spikes. Good old spikes. Save and continue. Round two. This is going to be fast because I can actually you now avoid half the stuff. Kind of, and I'm still hitting everything. I'm bad at my job, let's be honest. Thankfully, bats are abundant and they heal me. Stupid bats. So, here's my question. Isn't it a bad thing that a robot is in a sewer? So remember when I said to get yourself checked for crabs? Remember, electric crabs are worse. There we go, they're dead. The good old dead. Except this guy, he's he, he's gonna die soon. He's going to... I hate you so much. I swear, if another one responds, okay. Nope. Can't go through small crevices yet. Yay, sewer water. And the worst part is the screen goes slow, so you can't really avoid it. Well, 
I avoid it, kind of. Let's go away for the next one. Oh, that Metro Armor screwed me. They are still the biggest enemy to Mega Man. Just for the fact that they can, like, you know, not be destroyed when they hide under their little stupid hats. Oh, yeah. The wire's electrified. Crap. This part sucks. Remember this part. Worst part of the game. Ah, oh, it's a heart piece right there. And I died. I would have gotten the heart piece if I had like an extra life. Darn right, going to retry. I hate you, bats. Get out of here! There we go. Big, big health. Nope. Stupid buzzsaw things. So I want to know what everyone's opinion so far. How bad am I doing? Considering I can't get past some stupid bats. Somewhere a car dream was just laughing at me. But then again, I know how hard a time he's having with uh, Extreme 1. But then again, I always hate the levels with one-hit KOs. If I didn't clip that corner, I would have survived. One thing I did appreciate about the extreme games was the fact that they were really short. Nope. You need to die. You almost killed me last time. You little bastard. Die! Oh, come on. No, no, no. There. Little prick. Nope. So my question is, why would we ever need electric sewer water? Unless Killer Croc is down here fighting, you know, Batman. It's the only time I can think of it. Ooh, that was close.
Nope. Come on, boss door. Damn, it's a checkpoint. Nope. Actually, it's pretty out here. Why is this underground in a sewer? Just weird. Now, real quick. You and your stupid smile. Like, game tumor is the hardest part. And like that, he's dead. Really easy boss. But just hard to get to him because of electric water. Try, Thunder. Kanya. No one cares about exposition. Like, there's definitely a Wicked Witch theme here. We're just missing a magic mirror. Where's Where's uh, Where's Mirror Man? You can be the magic mirror. Or Gemini Man, but then can he just kind of look at himself? He's like, hey. Hey, looking handsome. Looking just fine, handsome. Gemini Man was weird. Really, really weird, weird character, if I had to say anything. Do, 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 do. Alright, now we find again. Uh, what's this guy? Southern Tiger. Neon Tiger. Cool, we're going to a rave. Stupid lumberjacks. See, I know for a fact that like Zero can actually slice those things back at them, which is a really nice touch. I can actually stand on top of those ones? Weird. Oh yeah. The mech suit. If you had this, this was like the coolest thing you can get in the entire game. Like, one thing about, I like about X1 is the fact that you need that uh, vile need when you used to fight Mega Man. Arguably one of my favorite boss fights. Now, if I recall, there it is. Ah, crap. Where's my mech suit? I need that. I know you're over here. There you are. Alright. That's what I wanted. Alright, now to find the uh, armor piece. Alright, the bees! Got one. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Hoo -hoo. Saved myself.
stupid. One of the few enemies you just can't one shot. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. I know you're... There we go. There we go. Right. We need the fire thing to get past us. Crap, I'm not getting that anytime soon. I gotta come back here later. I think that was the arm piece, actually. Because the helmet's in the uh, fire level. Get out of here. They're like salesmen. Just don't want to deal with them. What sucks is you can't use this for like the boss fight. Like short level. And of course I'm going to cheat. Which I don't have enough energy for. Crap. Uh Yeah, pretty much you just do this. Come on, Tony. I want some cereal, come on. And he's dead. In the uh, rake hall. With such a weird weapon. Okay, getting this guy, and I'm gonna get that last armor piece. Flame Mammoth, he's a classic enemy. He's appeared in probably some more frequent games than I can remember, honestly. He's in this one. Here's a lot of other X games. I can't think of them right now. There's robots everywhere. It's an elephant. One thing I hate about this level is the fact that machinery are just really annoying. Mine. I know the armor piece is actually pretty early. There it is. Yeah. You need the uh, helmet piece, which you need to get after this level. Hey, it's uh, Cole Miner Pete from uh, whatever his name is, Toy Stories. It was Pete something. Ah, sub tanks. They save lives, particularly mine. Checkpoint.
One thing I did like about this level is those uh, presses don't insta-kill you. Now, depending on which game it is, they do, but not an extreme. Come on, Hammer Joe. Shoot in the face. And or I could just chain go behind them. And boss fight. Now, if I recall correctly, that's Ray Claw for this one. And I died, because that was not the right item. One of the times did it. May his uh, trunk come off. Or I could cheat. Because the Gate Crush is like the most OP weapon in the game. Oh, I got behind him. So much damage, we just stomp something you. <clears throat> ah, threw me off. Dead twice. So I like the fact that in like a half hour, I beat like three bosses. I don't think Carter has beaten like two. And one thing I do like about my co-host is like we give each other crap all the time. Because if we don't take shots at each other, who will? Who will? Actually, Keith Honey would. Do I sell that sub tank? Yes, I do. God, I hate those things. Now I can just kind of farm health packs here. Or get hurt. Just like in every relationship I've ever been in. I am so full of it. <laughs> One of the best things about being me is the fact that I can poke fun myself like no problem. You kind of have to when it comes to like stuff like this. It's more fun that way. Hmm? Did I get anything for uh... Nope. Let's try uh... Try this one. Too close. Crap. That was... No one tell him. You know what I'm talking about. Don't tell him. Nice.
Come on, Dumbo. Yep, this was the item. Come on, Megman. You can survive this. There we go. Yeah, once you get the Giga Crush, it makes bosses, like, kind of easy mode. It takes out, like, a quarter of their HP. Fire Wave. So, all we need is some, like, sparkling flowers, a guy have a rose in his mouth, and some sunlight shine down upon him. And it's one of those, like, shonen animes. So much exposition! DNA souls for robots, which is weird because they have neither DNA nor souls because robots. And there's Handsome. I think that's a good place to stop for now. I'll be back next time for probably part two of this video. Of uh, all the armor pieces, I'm going to wipe the floor with the bosses. I'm going to look handsome doing it. Anyway, I want to hear everyone's comments below. How bad I do? How good did I do? Don't tell Car Dreamer. And yeah, that's basically it. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.